my top seven men's fragrances of the week. Awesome guys for tuning in. Let's look at my weekly fragrance rotation of this week. And the first day was pretty warm. I picked a fragrance very appropriate for the occasion. I picked the relatively new YSL YO Fresh. YSL YO Fresh. So this fragrance was a little bit controversial from all I know. Some people, they gave it flack. They said, oh, it's not that good. But actually guys, I bought a bottle and I do not regret it because I'm really enjoying this one, especially during the warmer weather. Very pleasant scent DNA, at least to my nose. That's why I, I, I really like this. So I encourage you, if you hear something negative about YSL YO Fresh, just disregard it and check it out yourself. That's what I did and I'm very happy I did so. YSL Wild Fresh on day number one, nice summer scent. Then on day number two, I wanted a blue fragrance again as well because it still was pretty warm. And Jeremy fragrance recently, as you may know, he tried this Davidoff Cool Water Flanker. Usually I'm a little bit careful with flankers, but also interested. So I also got myself a bottle of Davidoff Cool Water Wave, Davidoff Cool Water Wave. But guys, I have to say, I much prefer the original Davidoff Cool Water. I really much prefer the original Davidoff Cool Water. So this Davidoff Cool Water Wave for me, it's not that expensive. I think it's an okay fragrance, but not really groundbreaking and not my personal preference when it comes to scents. So day number two, a little bit of a fail for me personally but I'm glad I tried it. Anyway, day number two, Davidoff Cool Water. Then day number th three, I wanted something still fresh, maybe a little bit citrusy, and I picked a German fragrance brand. As you can see here, Hugo Boss, the Hugo Boss Reversed. So that's very interesting, maybe a little bit rare and maybe a little bit hard to get, a uh, unique kind of scent. I actually have to say, for Hugo Boss fragrance, it smells really, really good, but I found like the longevity, in my opinion, not as long as I wished it to be, but maybe sometimes that's a trade-off. Hugo Boss reversed on day number three. It's a very light, refreshing scent, easy to wear, easy to like, but because it's a little bit light and airy, I feel it disappears after a while, so that's probably the trade-off. Very nice packaging design. Day number three, Hugo Boss, Hugo reversed. Then on day number four, interestingly, the temperatures went down a little bit, and I still wanted something fresh from a niche brand, but that still has a little bit more richness and character in the base, because as soon as the temperatures go down, I tend to gravitate to some of the fragrances that are a little bit richer. And I picked from an independent perfumer, Aaron Terrence Hughes, Aaron Terrence Hughes Neon on day four. This is a very interesting scent. And if you know Aaron Terrence Hughes, you know, very creative guy, makes independent fragrances in the UK. And I'm very glad I got hold of Neon before the Brexit. And oh yeah, this is so, I think he calls it an Ambroxan monster <laughs> that uh, if you smell it, you're just like, oh, <laughs> fuck, this smells really good. Um, and I kind of agree. This is fresh, it's uh, very appealing to me, and it's also manly, you know? It has like this uh, duality of like the freshness in the top, but also the richness in the base. And uh, I think what I followed him on Instagram and looked a little bit at his factory where he makes his fragrances, and I think he uses masks and stuff like that. So, although I don't say this is overly musky, it's just balanced really nice. It's balanced really nice and it has this longevity. It's not like this Hugo Boss Reverse, this commercial fragrance. I think the Hugo Boss Reverse is made by Coty. This is made by an independent perfumer and it's just, just a richer formulation. I'm not so sure about if I would wear that in a super high heat, but on a nice summer day when it's not too hot, this is just spot on, man. You spray this on your clothes, it keeps on smelling. So very nice. Day number four, Aaron Terrence using Neon. And day number five, surprise, surprise, temperatures started to decline even more. So I thought, oh, the temperatures decline even more. Let's reach for something that's even richer. And which fragrance brand makes rich fragrances? Of course, it's the Parfums de Mali. So I busted out my Parfums de Mali sample box. Parfums de Mali sample box, which you can get from their website. Very nice sample box. And I picked the Carlyle. Day number five, Parfums de Mali Carlyle. Parfums de Mali Carlyle. Very, very expensive fragrance, guys. Super expensive fragrance. And as you can see here, richly formulated. 
And uh, yeah, it's a real alternative to some of the other perfumes, the Mali fragrances. They have also the Percival, which is a little bit lighter, or the Galloway, which is a little bit lighter. But since the temperature went down, I wanted something rich. And uh, yeah, Carlisle, that's a very rich scent. And uh, I just like it. Guys, I just like it. I'm a Parfum Stimali fan. I love the Leighton. But uh, I remember when I first uh, sampled the Carlisle at the store, the store lady, she sprayed like a bunch of sprays, like four sprays on the small tester strip and gave it to me and I did hold it under my nose and it was like, oh my God, this is too much. So it really goes to show when you try something at the store, don't over spray on the tester strip. Don't go too close to the tester strip, have some distance. And uh, I'm really glad that Carlisle was included in the sample box, but because the first impression, just smelling it at the, randomly at the store, I was not a, a fan of it, but now that I actually wore it multiple times, and it's also a big benefit in my opinion of these 10 mils, you can give the fragrance a bunch of wearings and really get to know it before you commit to one of these really pricey luxury bottles, which I love so much. So, Parfums de Mali, Carlyle. Then moving on to day number six, like I did a little bit like last week. Last week I wore Tom Ford twice. So this week I thought, ah, oh, since the temperature still was cool on day six, wear Aaron Terrence Hughes twice. And I picked the Aaron Terrence Hughes Oud the Aaron Terrence Hughes Oud, also very richly formulated fragrance. And uh, yeah, I mean, Aaron makes a lot of richly formulated fragrance. I think he said himself that he sometimes struggled a little bit making the citrusy ones, but his main emphasis, I think, li uh, lies in these rich formulations. And I really have to say, Aaron Terrence Hughes Oud, I regret not buying the full bottle. I just bought this 50 mil, uh, this 10 mil, and I would love to have the 50 mil. But obviously since the Brexit, you have to pay additional import duties on everything. So I think I will use this up first before buying the 50 mil anyway. But oh guys, this is so good. I remember the first time I sprayed this on my arm, like when I got this, I was like, holy, holy moly, this is quite the fragrance. So if you're an Oud fragrance lover, I really, if you can get a hold of it, which is probably going to be a little bit hard, really, I encourage you to check it out because I think it's a real, it's like totally different. Like if you know the Tom Ford Oud Wood, I feel this is richer formulated and has a totally different character, which I find really fascinating. So Aaron Terrence used Oud, very enjoyable Oud fragrance in my opinion that I love very much. And on day number seven, the temperature started to rise a little bit and I wanted to sneak in my sample like I do every week. And I picked a sample from Maison Francis Cogjan, the Masculine Pluriel, which I have to say, I never was until now a fan of the MFK house, but the Masculine Pluriel, really, really interesting. Uh, it says it itself, if you are a Fougere fragrance fan, this could be really interesting because, like it also says in here, it has a sublime Fougere Accord. So it's a very nice how he worked in this Fougere aspect into this fragrance and embellished it. And I really have to say, this is like a really gentleman's fragrance. Maybe not for a younger guy, but if you have reached a certain age, this is really classy, really refined almost. So, and it has this, because it has a Fougere Accord, it's like this uh, association that you associate with a guy. So a real dude's fragrance, very nice. You drive a nice car, drive a convertible, you dress nicely. You gotta check out Masculine Pluria from MFK. So in conclusion, which of all these fragrances is my favorite of the week? Guys, I have to say it's really a toss up. Yes, if it's very warm, I would probably gravitate to, towards the YSL because it's very light, easy to wear set it and forget it fragrance which i enjoy very much but uh, you always get i'm always getting wafts when i'm wearing this or if the temperatures are a little bit cooler cooler i would probably gravitate towards the carlisle or probably even the oud i would oh, but these are really rich fragrances so keep that in mind the temperature should not be that high but if it cools down it's very nice to alternate through these fragrances because one day at the week you have something the weather is warm you have something nice and refreshing and then the weather cools down and you're circling back to these richer fragrances that's really my recommendation that i can give you from my experience 
uh, how you can structure your fragrance collection and how you can get a good enjoyment out of your fragrances because variation is key. Awesome guys for tuning in. Let me know what other content you want to see, fragrances you want to see or fragrances you love and I see you in the next video. Guys, take care. Very, very unique fragrance. If you're interested in Tom Ford, you can't miss out on the Tom Ford Oud Mineral a minerally oody fragrance that uh, is surprisingly nice to wear during spring and summer. And uh, yeah, it's very long lasting, sits a little bit closer to the skin after the initial projection uh, tails off, but that makes it, in my opinion, super, super nicely wearable. Uh, if you like that scent profile, I see you in the next video. Take care.